Okay, I have mustered the will to do this. I'm not very whelmed. Underwhelmed, if you will. I have been struggling to finish this review because I was quite disappointed in the end product. It was delayed multiple times, and after so long, it boggles my mind that they released this as the finished product. To be fair, this was a risk. I didn't know the company, and the listing on AmiAmi only had the spec sheets and mockups. I have been on a bit of a bender with the Snail Shell Company figurines, and that has thrown me down a few lesser known production avenues. This one was one of those figurines, and the promotional artwork on it looked really decent, so my hope was that it could come out as a cool figure at the end of it. But unfortunately, as you are already aware, this isn't exactly the product I expected. The stand is pretty standard, although the joints are very tight. It is probably the best made part out of this whole set. It's supported by screws, which are pretty rough on the plastic, however the fittings themselves are very tight and they do need to be worked a bit in order to uh, function properly. The manual is very basic, but does give a general overview of the kit and its parts. The first big and still unresolved issue is the head. It did not come attached on mine. More on that in a second. The other things immediately apparent are the different colored plastics used for the skin tone. It does not look like they even tried to match it. Uh, the other accessories included are a jetpack looking thing and a big rifle, along with a million differently colored hands. The hands look partially transparent. So diving into the main figure a bit, the head immediately comes apart. The hair does not hold well. The arms have spots that look like they're missing paint, and according to the box art, some of those spots are supposed to actually be painted. The other parts on the main figure have a ton of separation and molding issues. The posability is fine on the figure. The arm movements and hand movements seem to work and don't feel like they are unexpectedly tight. The hair is obviously painted and quite badly. The paint comes off incredibly easily, so handling it is hard to do safely. You can see a lot of leftover flashing on the hair as well. As seems to be the theme here, the face is also painted and lacks any kind of ceiling, so this will eventually lead to scratches and loss of features if it's handled. The painting on the face itself is acceptable. The eyes are not independently movable, however, so I don't really understand why they appear to be separately molded. The neck hole is my main issue with this figure, because honestly, I can live with this one just hanging on the back of the shelf. The issue is that the joint does not hold her head in. No matter how long I've tried to work on it and even troubleshoot the connection parts, it does not work. After everything is said and done, the neck appears to just be unable to hold the part, and I think it is just a defect. It is too large for the small neck peg. The accessories have similar issues as the rest of the figure, gaps and some minor flashing issues along with the unsealed paint. I'm also unable to remove the purple container like the box and the original artwork implied. I believe there was even an additional one that was supposed to be included, but I don't see that in the box. The jet backpack thing is obviously no different. There are tons of gap issues, and once connected, the joints are very tight. I have even managed to find that they are not properly glued together and come apart very easily. I wish I could say more positive things about this figure, but in my opinion, it should not have made it out the door. Mine in particular has some pretty significant issues with the head not attaching, and should really have been caught if there weren't any kind of quality checks in their production process. Just to be transparent, AmiAmi did note the significant difference in production versus preview and offered an exchange prior to shipping things out. I however did not take them up on that because I hoped it just wasn't that bad and the choice did cost me. 
but I do have some positive takeaways, at least from the experience. Given the quality, I do think I could make it better. Not that I can say I could fix it, but I do think that I can at least make it presentable enough that I could have it on the shelf. At the very least, I think I can make her head stay on. I would not recommend getting this figure, or future ones from this company, and do caution you against buying anything that does not seem to have a physical representation of the product um, on sites selling it. I believe this could have been a better product than what they delivered. And I do think it would be great to actually see the product that was advertised as a finished product, rather than what we received. In the meantime, I have other things to focus on, like unboxing and building one of the other 60 kits I have in my backlog. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.